Fashion merchandising covers several steps in the process between the creation of an item and the item that a consumer brings home. It includes everything from product development and design, textiles, manufacturing, and retailing. As a fashion merchandising major at LIM College, you learn how to identify fashion trends, research target markets to understand consumer demand, and develop the merchandise that satisfies it. I'm Lexa Esma and I'm a fashion merchandising major, class of 2013. For Work Project 2, I interned at Prada Miu Miu as the assistant to the general merchandising manager. One of my responsibilities was to create weekly selling reports that included sell-through percentages. Sell-through percentages are basically a comparison between total items sold over total items originally received. I use these reports to make a list of the best and worst sellers of the brand. Hi, my name is Lauren Zappia. I graduated in January 2011 fashion merchandising major and I now work for Nautica and BF Corporation as a production coordinator. I work on different things such as budget and expenses along with negotiating costs and prices with factories and mills overseas in different countries. So in order to have a good quality product for our customers we need to make sure that there's no shrinkage. When we do that, we have to measure each point on the garment. Our standards here are 2 to 3 percent of shrinkage. Sometimes a garment can shrink up to 10 to or 12 percent and that can't be sold in stores. In order to be a successful production coordinator, you need to have a background of all math skills that you would take in college and even when you were in high school. I still use those skills, but algebra is huge for me. Lauren Zappia can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk and make the right decision? Suppose you receive a sample of this men's casual shirt. You want to make sure that the shirt meets your company's quality standards, so you'll have to send it to a lab to do a shrink test. Let's look at the key measurements that would be included in the shrink test. Across the chest, along the length of the front of the shirt, the length of the sleeve, the width of the sleeve, across the back, across the shoulders, and along the length of the back of the shirt. Notice the inches of the four highlighted key measurements of the shirt before it is washed. After the first wash, you'll notice that some shrinkage has occurred. After the second wash, you'll notice that there was still some shrinkage. If you were a production coordinator receiving these results, you would want to know if this shrinkage is allowable according to your company's quality standards. Here are some of the questions you'll have to answer as the production coordinator. What is the percent change for the measurements after the first wash and after the second wash? What was the average percent of shrinkage after both washes? What is the maximum allowable shrinkage in inches for the chest, measurement A, if the shirt can shrink by a most 3%? And finally, based on your calculations, would you recommend producing this shirt if quality standards only allow up to 3% shrinkage?